your decision, or was it something that came kind of last minute change? I mean, every big decision I make in my life, um, I have an inner circle, so, you know, I just sat with my inner circle. And we just talked about the um, pros and cons and, you know, the ways and the losses. And, um, you know, I just talked to my, my the people closest to me, and, you know, we always make a firm decision off that. Or I always make a firm decision off that. Did you at any point contemplate just going through the process of just the NBA draft, knowing that you could still come back with that other day? Did that, point, did that ever idea kind of pop up? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, of course that popped up, but the way that my family goes, we um, we make firm decisions and, like, you know, we make decisions that we stand on it. So we felt like this was the best decision um, to be all in on. If I was all in on going to the NBA, then I would have been all in on doing that. So, you know, I just wanted to, you know, get bigger, stronger, have unfinished business at Carol. What kind of feedback were you able to get? I know there's a system in place to get that, even though not going to the combine, as far as what they like about you at the NBA level and also what you need to work on. You know, I got a lot of feedback back, and um, they said that, you know, just get bigger and stronger. That was really the only thing, get bigger, stronger. Yeah, um, touch my shot off a little bit better. Um, you know, another year in the weight room. I really haven't had an off-season workout because the last two seasons in the off-season, I was rehabbing. So now I'm 100%. I actually can, like, excel in my body right. In your announcement, you didn't make it all about yourself, man, about your team and what you guys can do next year. All right. How important was that to put that message out? And you were bold in saying you want to go to the dances. Oh, yeah. I mean, what do you think about that? Um, I'm 100% committed to that. We're 100% committed to that. And it starts now. I feel like when I um, committed here, I feel like I said a lot of things that I didn't accomplish yet and a lot of things that I need to accomplish. And like I said, it's an unfinished business to take care of. Just at what point throughout this process did you find, did you come to the, to the decision that this, this is what's going to happen for you? Um, what's today? Saturday? Yeah. So maybe Thursday? Okay. Yeah. Like I said, I talked to my inner circle. Um, we talked it over. I talked to my mom, my dad, um, my brothers, you know, everyone close to me and helped me make this decision. Yeah, I never made a decision by myself. Uh, I'm blessed to have a great family who's uh, intelligent, smart, who can, you know, help me, lead me in the direction to make my own decision. But you, can, you get what I'm saying? Like, nah, I'm not by myself. That makes sense. Did you look to any of your teammates to help make this decision? Uh, I mean, not really, because um, it, I mean, it really acts, it's hard, hard for them to make it. You know, I didn't want to put them in that situation. So I just kept it with my family. You know, I talked to Coach Underwood. Yeah, that's pretty much it. What does it say about this group and your confidence in them coming back and, and saying what you said about that you know, we should go to the tournament? I mean, it says a lot. If you look at Virginia, they lost the first round. They, they made history the, the year before. I mean, last year they lost the first round, but they came back the next year and they won national championship. So, I mean, I just believe in this team a lot. I feel like we can accomplish so much. We have so many great pieces and. You know, all the freshmen coming back, being sophomores, we're bigger, stronger. Uh, me leading, um, and you got Georgie and now, like we trend everybody. I just feel like this is our year to accomplish a lot that hasn't been accomplished in a long time here. Do you feel like an offense can kind of lift it from your shoulders, not having this decision uh, just weight uh, weighing down on you, just like, having to think about it constantly? Uh, no, I mean when, when pressure hit me, I really don't. I, I love the pressure, you know. So I wouldn't say it was it was pressure on me. I feel like it was just. A decision I have to make and you know um, in this world it's always gonna be tough decisions you have to make that's why like I said I'm blessed to have family to lead me in the, the right direction where I'm not alone making my own decisions I have sisters brothers my, my mom dad uncles aunties everyone close to me help me make this decision so when times like this get hard like announcements it's really easy for me is there anything you're looking to add to your game in the offseason yeah, I'm trying to get bigger, stronger. Um, you know, get get bigger, trying to add about eight to ten pounds. Just working on my shot, working on my overall game. I mean, with, with playing at the next level, the goal was the pull of that. Was that kind of hard to maybe not you know, just think about that and try to put it into the bigger context of you know maybe you know, coming back was the best you know, situation that could maybe help you reach that even better. I mean, of course. Um, every kid wants to um, fend for their family and, you know, just make it uh, easier life for their family. But 
I talked to my family and I talked to my mom and dad and um, we thought that coming back was the best decision for me and um, we thought that this was the firm decision and the best decision for my future and you know just overall the whole team. Obviously you got a lot of feedback on social media after a posted video. What, what really stood out to you about that? Just you know, the fans that were clearly happy to see you come back. I mean, I really look at social media, but you know, it's always good to get the love. But I don't, I, I tend not to look at social media at all because you know, with the love, it comes to hate. So, um, you know, when I'm playing bad, I don't look at social media, and then when it's time with this, I don't look at social media. I just try to, you know, stay in the gym, stay in the weight room. You know, I'm a 19 year old kid, so you can't really get into social media because the, the, the faster you get into it, the, the faster it can suck you up. So, you know, um, I just try to just take the good with the bad, I guess. I really didn't look at it. How's the offseason going for you so far and for this team? Oh, it's been great. It's been really great. You know, I'm excited each and every day. We're getting bigger, we're getting stronger. More more guys who were in the gym as much last year are in the gym more, doing after extra lifts. You know, it's fun, it's exciting. Thank you, Ryan. No Thanks, Rob.